Good afternoon, we're with Carla Montgomery, the Executive Director of the Child Cancer Fund. Carla, what a wonderful event you've got going on here. Tell me a little bit about it. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of our uh, two major fundraisers for the year and one we're very excited about. We partner up with Premier Beverage and, um, and One Ocean and um, we're very excited and looks like we've had a really great turnout. So we're very excited about the new venue and, uh, and about the money that we've been able to raise for the families. How long have you been involved with this organization? Um, I actually started 11 years ago when my son was diagnosed with cancer, and so I became familiar with the Child Cancer Fund and, and what they do for the families, and um, was on the board and um, on and off, and so we, um, I joined here recently, and um, they needed an executive director, and I jumped into the position, so um, that's kind of a... A the reader's win -win. digest the version. Win -win. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how it works. If I'm a parent or a child in need, how do I get involved with this? How, how does this all come to fruition? Um, any families um, in the five surrounding counties that have ch a child that's being treated at Nemours Children's Clinic mm -hmm. or Wilson Children's Hospital, um, they are become familiar with us through our uh, child life advocate at Nemours and the social workers. Mm -hmm. And so they point them in the right direction and we help families by coming alongside of them. Um, we help them with um, financial assistance that's um, non-medical in nature. Um, we we were started by a group of parents, so we kind of have been there, done that, and we know what, what the needs are and, um, and, and, and have an understanding that someone who hasn't been through it, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't understand. And so we come up along beside the families and um, we have a child life advocate at Nemours that we have a grant that we um, pay for that position and then we um, do the non the financial assistance and we also do um, resources for the families. Um, we have a notebook for them um, where they can gather information and there's resources and, and websites in there that they can go and get more information and we have specific disease um, books that we provide for the families. So. Um, we have a teen event. We have a lot of different things that we... I heard know. about a camp that you guys got going on that everybody loves. Yeah, we send a family to... Uh, we send 32 families to camp every year for a retreat weekend, just okay. a, a getaway for the family so they can have some respite and um, come together and really be a family because when you're going through the rigors of child cancer, you know, of treatment for your child, um, you know, you're going to the clinic every day, you're in the hospital, and they just need some time away to come together as a family and have a little bit of fun. So we send families to uh, to camp um, one weekend a year. So, What's one of your favorite success stories that has come out of all of this? Wow. Um, you know, I have to say um, we've just started um, a, a teen uh, program mm -hmm. um, where we get, we've partnered up with a, another local charity and we've um, provided a way for the teens to get together. They're kind of one of a group that kind of gets missed in all of, in all of the, in the shuffle. And so we um, have them uh, come together, both kids that are on treatment and off treatment, and so they're able to come together and, and bond. And, and you know that's a difficult age anyway, and especially mm -hmm. when you know you've lost your hair and you, you know all the other challenges that you already have as a teenager, and then you have that. So um, we 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 really love um, that we can provide that for the teenagers and um, get them together. And and they're amazing kids anyway because of what they've gone through. And so they're uh, they're really great to one another, and it's great to watch. And they that. can be a resource for you as well. Absolutely, a lot of them want to jump in and volunteer, and yep. um, we have them, you know, doing fundraising activities and um, you know all kinds of things. And so they're really a big help to us. We got to speak a little bit with Bryce Williams this afternoon. What a wonderful child and a wonderful example. And that was one of the things we asked: Is he able to come back and help out and talk to some of the kids and let them know what he went through? So it sounds like that's a program that's going on. What are you looking for in the next couple of years for the organization? You know, we're, we're really, um, I feel like, at a tipping point. We're, we're growing, and, um, you know, as, as things go along, unfortunately, more and more families need our help. And so, um, you know, we want to be able to raise the funds that we can be there when the families need us, that we, we can jump in and help them. And so we want to, you know, continue to grow. We've added a... Um, um, probably about nine new members to our board and we're very excited about that it you know it, it helps the reach and the network and um, getting a lot more people to know about us and what we do and and um, you know have them come on board and and support us so right. we're very excited about you know 
what, what the future holds for the Child Cancer Fund. And Premier Beverage Company is a great supporter of you. We got to speak a little bit with them. We hear that you've got an upcoming golf tournament coming up. We do. Um, in April, um, we have our, our golf tournament. That's our second big fundraiser for the year. Right. And uh, Premier Beverage is, you know, always right there with us and, and supports us. And um, they're involved in that as well um, as one of our sponsors and donors. So um, we're very excited about that. And um, that's a, um, a, a very exciting thing. We have Josh Scobie is our right. um, our title, you know, name to our, our event. Right. And um, he's wonderful. And um, we're just looking forward to that event, too. That's, you know, as soon as this is over tonight, I'm going to get geared right up again. Right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Next step. What's one thing about today or one thing just recently that you know, if you were to talk about what makes you smile about all this whole program? You know, it's just the fact that I can give back. I mean, you know, the people were there to help me. And so it's really every day, you know, when families call or the clinic calls and, and they need something and I'm able to get it for them and make things happen and um, provide for the families that need us. And um, just having that deeper understanding of what that need is. And it's just very gratifying to be able to, to do that and, um, and know that you're helping these families. And, you know, you, I know deeply what it means to have you know, this organization there to um, to pick up the pieces. So well, we certainly look forward to more, seeing more of this and more of the events and hope for the golf tournament. And we thank you for your time. What a great commitment to the Jacksonville community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming.